What's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new video. Today we are talking about NBA 2K20 and just to let you guys know, speed boosting is still in the game. Post speed boosting is still in the game. As well as there's other things that are going on right now and that'll be happening within the next week or so that you guys are going to want to get in tune with and I'm here to let you guys in on all that information. Now, I may be talking too fast but make sure you get 3,000 likes on this video. All right guys, so for the first information of the day, Mike Wang is active on Twitter once again, and he's letting everyone know that speed boosting is still in the game. Here's the screenshot from Twitter, and let's go over it. So Mike Wang says to a person that uh, asked him about speed with the ball rating and everything like that, as far as speed boosting and combination with ball control and speed with the ball. So basically he said, tier three, first steps, unlock with 86 speed with ball momentum cross and tier three dribbling moves are still based on ball control and also unlock at 86 keep in mind that ratings fluctuate based on takeover rhythm and fatigue so you may want a buffer if speed boosting is important to you now just to let you guys know if you want tier three first steps you need speed with ball if you want momentum crossovers, you need high ball control. I don't know what's gonna happen to all those point forwards out there. I don't know what's gonna happen to playmakers that wanna be a PG, but wanna be 6'7". I don't know if you're still gonna want all of that and be 6'3 or under, because I know that they're not gonna have taller players with that type of speed with ball, with that type of ball control, but hey, I'm me, you're you, maybe somehow 2K will have it in there. Now, also, we've seen a, a bunch of uh, people talking about the attribute system and how that's going to work, how your ball control is going to work with height and weight and everything like that. But hey, all I'm saying is you have to have two different things here. Let me pop the screenshot back up for you guys. Let me reiterate. If you want tier three first steps, you have to have an 86 speed with ball. All right, tier three first steps, okay? Now it says if you want to momentum cross and have tier three dribbling moves, you have to have a ball control that unlocks at 86. So ball control and speed with ball both have to be at 86 if you want to be a premier dribbler in NBA 2K20. All right, so let's get into the second topic of the news today. So basically, the czar was on Twitter this morning uh, tweeting out a player from the NBA 2K League that happened to give his hands-on impressions and first thoughts or first impressions and thoughts of NBA 2K20 because he got his hands on it. Now, this player is Jen Sanity, and he does play for one of the 2K League teams currently. And basically, somebody DM'd him about the actual post scoring or post cheesing or post speed boosting thing that's in the game currently for NBA 2K19 and let's see what his answer was so somebody asked him was post speed boosting still in the game when you played 2K20 please say no please I hate that unskilled garbage he says same post controls so yeah with a laughing emoji and of course you know the person that replied to this was so upset that he said that he doesn't even want to buy the game now. Now, coming from my thought process, uh, there were only two ways for me to get my offense off with my pure lockdown. That was, of course, uh, speed boosting from the post and sitting in the corner hitting corner threes with uh, jump shot 24. Now, of course, speed boosting is cheese. Jump shot 24 is a, a broken jump shot that made the game entirely lopsided as far as the skill gap because players with uh, pure lockdowns, rim protectors, glass cleaners, we all can shoot threes with jump shot 24 and set shot 13. So for me to hear that post scoring and I'm sorry, post speed boosting is back. I mean, my pure lock might be making a comeback. I'm just saying, but if they take it out by the day one patch, then of course that would be dope. But in the build that Gen Sanity played on, that was still in the game. Now, of course, he did make a video of his all of his impressions, and he said that some things may not be the same when the day one patch drops, but hey, if anybody loves the speed, the speed boosting out the post, I know you're praying for it. For all of us who can't stand it because when it gets done to us, we're pissed off, even though I can somewhat guard it a little bit. Uh, let's pray. 
All right, guys, so for the next story in today's news, just to let you guys know, a lot of the rookies that are in the NBA now got a chance to all come together and play NBA 2K20 early. Now, this is a pre day one build, but it allows all the rookies to play as themselves within the game. Now, just to let you guys know, the clip that you're about to watch, um, it is a, a Brandon Clark playing as Brandon Clark against the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, this is a video that has been surfacing all over Twitter all day long. A lot of dribble gods aren't happy about this video. Um, a lot of players don't know what's happening in this video. They're saying that they're comparing it to other basketball games because of the movement, how slow it is. Now, I've looked up Brandon Clark. I've looked up his his height, his, uh, his uh, weight, his, uh, like, what position he plays. And I can say that some of the dribble moves that was happening was very, very slow, very, very sluggish. And at times I was even looking like, what is he actually doing? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this clip up on the video. I'm going to let you guys watch it and then let me know what you think about this clip inside the comment section and then we'll move on. All right, guys, now that you watched the clip, let me know what you um, think inside the comment section. Just to let you guys know, he's listed at 6'8", 215 pounds. He's not a dribble guy. He's not a three-point shooter. He's more of a player that plays inside the paint. So as a power forward, do you think that his dribbling is on par with how slow and sluggish it looks, as well as somebody that shouldn't have dribbling badges and everything like that, like speed with ball, ball control? Or do you think that it looks a little bit too sluggish for 2K cents. For the last set of news for the day, 2K basically tweeted out yesterday that they were gonna be dropping some news for today. They told us to keep our notifications ready. So of course we did. And we found out that 2K has introduced all decade teams. They will feature teams from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s. All right, so if you are a person that plays a lot of my team, a person that plays a lot of historic games with teams, I believe that the all decade teams are definitely for you. Me, on the other hand, I really won't probably play with these teams, seeing as though I'll be diving straight into my career, straight into the park, straight into the pro-am, straight into the rec. I really won't have time to dive into all the decade teams, but I can say that the 2000s decade team looks insane if you guys haven't seen it i'll pop up screenshots all over the screen but it features of course ai you already know big kobe lebron tim duncan and shaquille o'neal now i can't lie to y'all between that and the 1980s team it's looking crazy the 90s team is cool i know i know a lot of people won't kill me the 90s was, was crazy the 90s was crazy but bruh that 2000s team it's, it's looking kind of crazy it's looking kind of crazy also just to let you guys know more screenshots and more videos of the WNBA are coming out. I'll probably pop up some of those on screen as an outro to the video with a little bit of music. But more information is coming in with the WNBA teams. A lot more people are uh, tweeting about the WNBA and its integration in the 2K. Um, I see PG Craig all over Twitter just showing how uh, women play with their moves, gifts, and stuff like that. But um, I hope you guys took in all the information that I've given you today. Um, I will be dropping another video because if you, in a couple days, a couple things are gonna be happening and I'm just letting you know that I got more content for you guys. Recap, speed boosting. Speed boosting out of the post are still in the game. I'm not sure how uh, post speed boosting is gonna go. I don't know if you need a certain ball control or speed with the ball to do it. I know this year, anybody could do it, whether you were a guard all the way to a center. But a lot of people don't want it in the game and I know it hurts. I, I'm sorry if I held you guys up too long. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of this hotel room and go have a little bit of fun in Vegas. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed again. Make sure you like this video. Um, also subscribe if you're new to the channel. Turn on those noties, make sure you hit that bell and I will see you guys in the next video.
Peace. Yeah. You can't watch this whole video without subscribing.